If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, getting right into the deck profile, we're pretty much just gonna show what I'm running for my Solryon deck. There's deck can definitely be a lot more budget, so I wanna keep that in mind, but I am kind of going all out with the best possible cards you can run for the deck, or at least how I like to run it. So just keep that in mind, and we're just gonna go right into the deck profile. Starting off with the ride deck, going with the Solryon ride line. So we got Eliron for grade one, Stogon, Stogron for grade two, and Solryon for our main grade three. Um, this lineup is pretty much the ideal one just because the minute that you ride Solryon on top of Stogron, you can call both of these out to your rear guard circles. So you get two rear guards out of it just from the ride line alone. So that's generally why you want to run it. Um, these cards are also really good as rear guards as well. They have rear guard abilities. So this is pretty much the best ride line you want to do for your, your Solryon ride chain. And into grade threes, we are running three copies of Solryon just for superior ride, or <laughs> persona ride. I don't know why I said superior ride. So Solryon skill, uh, at the beginning of your battle phase, you soul blast one, you declare a normal unit or a trigger unit, you reveal the top card of your deck, and if the revealed card is what you declared, your front row gets 5k. Second skill is when it attacks, count plus one, look at top two, call one, or you discard it if you don't want to call it, but you're pretty much going to call it. Uh, and then you put the rest on the top or the bottom of your deck. So you can stack triggers, or you can put another normal unit to the bottom of your deck to kind of, you know, hope you get a trigger on the next run. Next for grade three is we're running four copies of Pierce Dragon. So Pierce Dragon has a really good rear guard skill that helps Orion with the whole revealing normal unit skill. When it's placed, uh, if you have a Vanguard Solryon in its name, you reveal a normal unit from your hand, then you draw a card, then you put that normal unit revealed to the top of your deck. Second skill is if a normal unit is revealed for the ability of your Solryon, you can have this unit gain 5k when it attacks, and at the end of the battle it moves to the soul. So it refills your soul for Solryon's cost, it also makes room for that rear guard that you're about to call with Solryon's on attack skill, and it also helps you set up for that normal unit so that you can have something to call and kind of know what's going to be revealed. And uh, lastly, for grade threes, I'm just running one of the Gratis Gratidale. This is just your Persona Ride order. It's our Regalis piece. It lets you activate Persona Ride if you did not ride this turn and you are already on grade three. So it gets your Persona Ride off just to kind of help you out with the aggression of this deck. So that's it for our grade threes. Moving on to grade twos, we're running three more copies of Stogron just because it's a really good grade two. What it does is on rear guard circle, when a normal unit is revealed by your Soul Ryan's ability, this unit gets at the end of the battle, it's attacked, retire it, counter charge one. So makes room for the next card you're gonna call, counter charge engine. So this is our main counter charge for the deck. And I kind of want to max it out since the one in the right deck gets pulled out to the rear guard circle you are essentially getting four copies in the whole deck. Then we are running the four Kairi, or Kyberi. Uh, Kyberi is a really important card for all of Keter Sanctuary, and it's decently expensive <laughs> considering what the card does. It's when it's placed on rear, counterblast, soul blast, look at the top three cards of your deck, choose from among them a card. If it is a grade two card or less, you can call it to the rear guard circle, and if it is not, you can add it to your hand. So you can add um, the Elementaria to your hand because it's not a unit card. So that's really nice. Um, this also lets you add Persona Ride to your hand. It lets you add Dragon to your hand and it lets you fill your board with grades ones and twos. What I really like about Kyberi is that when you call it with uh, Solryon's skill, you can use its skill to look at top three, call another unit on your other rear guard circle, therefore giving you two more additional attacks. So that's kind of the goal here is to use Kybri and Stogan to kind of kill this, get a counter charge, call this, counter blast, soul blast, call another card. For grade twos, we are running for Drilling Angel. Uh, Drilling Angel is really simple, just lets you put a card from drop into your soul, look at top three, look for a card with the same name as the card you moved to soul, and call it. If you don't, you just shuffle your deck. So it's a free soul charge, but because sometimes you know what's at the top of your deck, thanks to Solryon's skill, you can use that to your advantage to know, hey, I know what's on the top of my deck. Um, I can just put that same copy from drop to soul, look at the top three, call it, and then shuffle. So this also helps you fill your board for free, which is really, really nice. So this is a great card to run in Soul Ryan. Definitely want to run a playset just to feel the soul. 
So that's it for the grade twos. Grade ones, I am running four of the Dragon Tree Wetch. Uh, we're not using it for the Dragon Tree Markers because we obviously don't have <laughs> Maskus Vanguard, but its back row skill is when your unit in the same column as this unit is placed, once per turn you can count bless one and draw a card. So what I really like about this is that you can get a draw before you're doing your like scrying skills or looking at the top card of your deck. So that way, you know, you're drawing into something, then you're looking at the top card to see what's after it, and it just helps you fill your hand, which is really nice. Next for grade ones, we're running three more copies of Elyron, so we're running the full play set because of the right deck. Its rear guard skill is exactly like the uh, dependable Pierce Dragon. So what it does is when it's placed on rear, reveal normal unit, draw a card, then put the normal unit revealed to the top of your deck. Uh, that way you know what's on the top of your deck so that when you set up with Solryon skill, you can have your front row get that 5k really easily. Then we're going with our super simple three PGs, our HS Mares, or whichever PG you want, and uh, our Elementaria, uh, just because this is pretty much needed now that we have both Chrono Jet and Messiah running around with grade four vanguards. So Elementaria is just a free PG right now. So it's really important to have this card in your deck in a competitive environment, at least. Now we're going to our trigger units, starting off the OT. We're doing our Matanoa. It's when you reveal it for OT, all your rear guards get drive checks, which is really nice because you're getting a lot of multi attacks. So you're guaranteed at least one to two more attacks. Maybe out of that, you're calling a grade through rear guard, gets twin drive, you know, can help you. And most importantly, this deck lets you look at the top card of your deck pretty consistently. So you can kind of set up your over trigger really well when you see it, which is nice. So it's not like a surprise event. You can kind of plan it out. Pretty simple trigger lineup as well. We're just going with our standard uh, eight crit. Got our blade feather dragons. Honestly, you don't really need the skill crit. Vanillas are perfectly fine. So your eight crit, whatever eight crit you want. And then we're doing our three fronts. I like the front triggers in this deck because I have a decent time drawing cards. Um, thanks to Sakab, I don't really feel like I need the draw triggers, but if you want draw triggers, go for it. I think draw triggers would be just as good. Then we got our three vanilla heal and our one uh, hardiness tier sorceress. This is the heal trigger that if your opponent has a unit that gained a crit, um, you know, by a skill instead of a trigger, um, you can have this get 15k shield, which is nice. Just there's a lot of decks that do gain crits to their units, like Gandiva, but although <laughs> that's a really big vanguard you're dealing with, so it's really up to you. The vanilla crits are perfectly fine if you just want to have a play set of that, but I do just like to have the one tech for, you know, certain matchups. That is it for the trigger lineup and pretty much it for the deck profile. I'm gonna really quickly show just like what a basic like setup for this deck looks like so you kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. All right, so pretty much how the deck works is you're trying to set up so that you know what the top card of your deck is gonna be and then also kind of looking through the top of your deck, progress through your battle phase and manipulate your triggers as best as you can. So if you're gonna start your turn, you're gonna go ahead and just kind of jump right into your grade three ride. You ride your Solryon, uh, you then trigger the ability of Strogon, which lets you call out both Strogon and Elyron to the rear guard circles. So now you have both of these on your board. Elyron already has an on-place ability when it's placed. If you have a Vanguard with Solryon, you can reveal a normal unit, and then you draw a card, and then you put said normal unit back on the top of your deck, right? So let's say you wanna keep it going. You wanna like continuously know what's gonna be on the top of your deck. Um, or maybe you just want to kind of stick with that for now. But let's say for the sake of like just doing some extra plays, we'll do Sakab. We'll do Pierce Dragon. We'll do Sakab first. We know it's on the top of our deck. We're just going to add that card back to our hand. Then we can do Pierce Dragon. We can reveal that card again. Draw another card. Put it back on the top of our deck. Cool. We got our, we got our um, main phase pretty much set up. Let's throw down another Sakab for fun. Cool. Beginning of battle phase. Soul Blast 1, reveal the top card, it's normal unit. So now our front row gets 5k for the rest of the turn. So now we start our battle phase. Swing with Strogon, it gets plus 5, so it's 15k. I did reveal a normal unit for this turn, so at the end of its battle, you can retire it and counter charge. Cool. And then let's keep it going. We can 
Swing of Solryon, use its skill when it attacks. You kind of plus one to look at the top two. Cool, so we know there's a trigger there. So now we can just call the Drilling Angel and we can leave this on top and get a trigger. Or alternatively, let's say this wasn't a trigger, right? Put that on bottom. So now we know, hey, this card Strogan is on the top of my deck. Well, if I wanted to, I could actually just use this to call out another unit if this circle was open, if I wanted to. But for the sake of the fact that I wanna try and look for some triggers, I'm just gonna put this on the bottom of the deck. Then we're gonna use Drilling Angel so that we can fill some soul, you know, kinda, kinda just keep it going if we want. So let's put a fun card back into the soul. Look at the top three, pretty much not gonna find anything, but we'll shuffle. And then we can still use the Sakab after something's placed, kind of blast and draw. And then now we can do our twin drive, get some triggers, keeping it going. We swing, we swing at the end of this battle, this moves to soul. And then we can kind of keep it going from there. So kind of continuously using manipulation skills. Next turn we have the Eliron to do the same thing. We could use Eliron to reveal Kybri. Kybri goes on the top. This swings, you look at top two, you call a Kybri. Kybri skill looks at the top three, calls another unit so that you can keep on getting more attacks as you go. So this is just like a really, really fun multi-attack deck. And in a lot of cases, you can know what trigger is gonna be coming, but in a lot of cases, I'm kind of tutoring the deck more for aggressive plays. So if you do see that second trigger, usually I'll just keep it on top and then swing. And then I know there's a crit coming. A lot of times if there's two normal units, I just keep it going and trying to get some more board out of it. But that's pretty much it for the deck. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, see them in the comment section below. And uh, thank you again, I just wanna say to 50 Cards for hooking me up with all these really awesome cards. And you know, always having the best deals when it comes to Vanguard splits and you know, just kinda helping the community out with the market and everything. So thank you again to 50 Cards. Thank you to everyone for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.